As I record this video, I respectfully acknowledge that I'm standing on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox First Nation. And this video is all about setting up JIG to make it a very effective tool for finding out what's going on within your code. So, to begin with, the easiest way i found is to use user keys. And this user key, what it does is whenever your cursor is on a line and you click this user key, then JIG will be enacted and you will display the value of what you see on the line. So it's really super simple. But in order to do that, you have to set up user keys. So the way to do that is I'm going to go up here to my menu and edit and go all the way down here to configure and then user keys. And when you click on this, it's going to open up a window, not quite that big a window, but this window. And this is where your user keys, the file that holds all your user keys. So as you can see, I've got a number of user keys defined, dissect and lint, but I also have jig uh, configured. So I'll just go quickly through what's going on in this line that's, uh, that's setting this user key for jig. The first thing you see is F6. I'm using function key 6 as my hotkey, my key to enact jig. The zero after the pipe it means that there's nothing else going to be displayed. I'm just only interested in the display itself. Jig augmented display is actually what I want to have show up on the menu for user keys. And then after this pipe is exactly what I want to have happen. And what's going on here is visual jig is the actual verb that's going to go and grab the uh, line that the cursor is on, process that, and fire back a display. So this has to be done in this way. I'm also keeping track of the locale that I'm taking this from. Um, and because I'm doing that, and I want to have other information, um, I'm using a semicolon here. Because I use a semicolon here and it actually has meaning, is why I'm using pipes. Because down here, for instance, you'll see uh, semicolons are used as, as separators. And that's fine, that's actually pretty common. But I'm using pipes because I'm actually making functional use of a semicolon here, and it would confuse everything if I was trying to do both at the same time. So having done that, once I've got that typed in under my user keys, then I would restart the session of J and then this user key would be hot. It's not going to, it, it's actually configuration is set when you actually start up. So if you uh, edit it in partway through a session, it's not actually going to be active until you restart. So let's go back again to here. And once I know I have my user key in, just one other thing I'm going to check is I want to make sure that my package manager, I'm going to tools, package manager, I want to make sure that I have downloaded uh, jig from the add-ons and you can see here there is jig it is there right there um, and I can check to see whether it's installed or not just by clicking what's installed and click down here and where was it right there it is installed this one right here if it wasn't installed, then I would probably go to uh, Upgrades, I would select it, and then I would click Install, and then that would bring it in. So that would just load it from add-ons and give me access off my computer in the system. So that's the next step. Now, having done that, let's move this out because I've done that part of it. My next step is now I have to get uh, jig loaded into my session. And that's actually pretty easy to do. You load and use the tilde add-ons because it's part of the add-ons file. It's in the debug folder. It's in the jig folder and its name is jig.ijs. And if I type that out just like that and I hit return, I get nothing, but now I have jig. So say for instance, I want to see what that looks like in display, in jig display. Now I'm just gonna press F6 and that's what happens. Now initially when it comes up, it's quite small um, and, and for normal use, 
this would be fine. But on the side of this here, I can go to 400%, really blow it up. And then for the purposes of the video, that's the size I'm going to be using. But initially, it comes in at 100%, and you can either make it smaller or bigger. So, um, oh, one other thing I'm going to add, mention is the, I can do this in the terminal window, but I can also do this in the edit windows. So, for instance, if I go here, I've got a whole series of things that I've, you know, downloaded, things I might want to display. And this is actually part of my test suite. So, um, say, for instance, I go here and say I want to uh, show this source array. I just hit F6 here. Even though I'm in, in the uh, edit mode, my script window, it's going to work just the same way. And that's really useful if you're working within scripts and uh, you want to see what a value might be, if you can separate that value out, you can use Jig to display it. You don't have to be in the terminal window. And that wraps up setting up Jig.